Hello, I'm Adriana. I'm a Master Soul Path teacher and guide. This reading today is for Sag, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in Sagittarius. I'm mostly asking for messages from the divine to help you clarify and feel more confident on your path at this time. And I'm always asking for the information that will empower you. Getting readings of any kind is about supporting your free will, make, helping you understand what choices are available and what the energies are at play so you can make your best decision. So Sag, this is just meant to give you a lot more context, a lot more information, and perhaps a different perspective. Okay, All right. message for Sag, please. Connection to the Sagittarius energy. <sighs> Show me the circumstance. Okay, the Fool. Interesting. Okay, so this is a fresh new beginning for you, Sag. This is a fresh new start. And I feel like... <laughs> This has been a long time coming. You're definitely ready for this new journey and this new phase of your journey. I want to say to you, Sag, it's really important that you stay grounded in what, in this new phase, I think it's really tempting to get swept away with the excitement of something new, finally, finally opening up. Um, so I feel like grounding is really important, being aware, being present. I'm really also drawn to all the white on this card. He's got white flowers, all the white in the moon up there. So I do feel like there's a purification that has happened, that you're really ready to walk forward with a clean slate. And this feels like very joyful energy to me. How is Sag responding to this energy? The Emperor. Okay, so funny about, I was talking to you about grounding. It's like it doesn't get more grounded than the emperor. So I think you are actually trying to keep yourself on an even keel about this new beginning. There is a strong feeling that you don't want to make the mistakes that you made in the past. I, I really think that this is a moment where you have looked, reflected on the past, learned from it, and you're not um, characteristically leaping forward as you might, but you're, you're wanting to just make sure you've got everything together. Now, the emperor is saying that you're showing up in a pretty strong masculine energy. This is a protector energy. This is a powerful energy that understands boundaries and grounding and structure. And I think some of this is actually going to, we've got a back and forth kind of going on, right? You're counteracting some of this more erratic fool energy with the grounding. At the same time, the fool energy may be asking you to try things a little differently, to shake things up, or to not get so stuck in where you are. So what is Sag supposed to do with this energy? Queen of Wands, all right. And what is out of Sag's control? The Knight of Wands. Okay, I'm going to think about that for, for a second. So the Queen is more stable, the Knight is more active. Look at all that fire. <laughs> it's so hot, so fiery. Okay. What is out of your control? I think the Knight of Wands is someone else. I think this is perhaps another fire sign. I believe this card is associated with Aries, as is the Emperor. So you may be looking at a strong Aries type of personality or just a fast moving fire energy in particular. So I think this is interesting because we've got erraticism coming from two different ways. Sometimes with the Knight of Wands, the energy that streaks through them is so strong and so powerful, they get very scattered and they don't know quite how to focus that creative, creative energy. And they can be really all over the place. 
And I'm thinking that is what you're being challenged with. Someone who's quite all over the place and sometimes there's no rhyme or reason to what they're doing. It's just they're strongly in this at the moment and then they're strongly in this and then they're strongly in that. You are to inhabit the combination of that fiery energy plus the grounding. Queen of Wands. She is incredibly confident, incredibly grounded, incredibly passionate about where she goes next. But because she's got the feminine energy, there is more of a flow to her. She understands how to go with the flow, whereas I see the emperor is resisting the flow. So let's kind of pull this all together. Universe is giving you these different kind of glimmers, these different ways of looking at things, doing things, these different opportunities, which may be kind of quirky or unexpected. But because you've got someone else in your life who's causing chaos, you are having to be the mature one, the grounded one, the present one. However, because the universe is giving you these different opportunities, you would be more suited to tap into this Queen of Wands energy, more suited to tapping into your intuition, into your feelings of, of what your heart is truly asking you to do in every, any given time. And because we have the flow element with the Queen of Wands, she allows you the changeability that the Emperor resists but it's not the unstable changeability of this Knight of Wands. So it's more of a Leo type energy, the fixed energy, the strong, here I am, I know what I'm doing, I, here's what my heart says, I'm very in touch with what needs to be done next, but I'm in no rush. So there's a strong fire presence, but again, it's this strong grounded fire presence. It's not controlling because the, the water helps you go with the flow, let, yet it is in control. So that's a little bit of a, of a dichotomy here because the emperor does try to control the outside world, but the queen of wands is in control of herself. She's got the true power of knowing how to harness that fiery energy. Whereas this one doesn't know what to do. It's like the fiery energy comes in and it's going to do and act and be. Queen of Wands bides her time and she knows when it's the right time to act. So it's more of kind of taking a pause and really feeling that strong feminine energy. I like the cats on her car. She has a jaguar, dark jaguar and a lion. So that shows her independence. And that also shows again that touch between the solar and the nocturnal, the masculine and feminine, the day and the night. So when we have the nocturnal or the feminine, we're talking about the inner knowing. When we have the masculine, we're talking about what's on the outside, how we're appearing, what we're doing. So in this card, on this card, they're very much in harmony. So intuitive action is what we're really looking for here. So lightening up a little bit of this emperor energy. Opportunity for growth, please. Ten of pentacles, really nice. Okay, this is a gift. I think what is happening here is that you have definitely come to a point of culmination of success and of prosperity for the future. I love this card. This is such a good card for you. And this is the way you, you need to go into the future with this Queen of Wands card, with this Queen of Wands energy. The grounded balance between the feminine and masculine, in control of herself, sensitive to the flow, aware of what's going on with others, but not pulled off of her own center. The independence of the Queen of Wands cannot be overstated. She is in herself. She understands how to be in herself and yet be present and be there and be visible and seen by other people. It's not about resisting or going over the top with this fiery erratic energy, but it's finding that place in, the, in this more divine feminine energy. I'm curious to see what's gonna happen with this Knight of Wands. Can you tell me what happens with the Knight of Wands, please? 
<laughs> King of Wands. So, Sag, this is fascinating because by you embodying this strong feminine, this strong balanced feminine here, you actually help the Knight of Wands come to his full power as the king, as the consort, the mate. So in standing in your full power here and not getting involved with the chaos of the knight, you actually help the knight evolve as well. So they get to become the grounded, stable ruler who has the power to act, who has the power to protect. It's almost like, I mean, he is connected to the emperor energy because the emperor has all the kings in it. But this allows this other person to fully come into their own masculine power. So, you know, I don't know if, obviously, because I can't see you, I don't know if you're a divine feminine or a sacred masculine. The point is that we all have both of those in us and we have to balance one in order to help someone balance the other. It's just, it's very interconnected. So the point is that you being in your own power helps someone else be in the highest potential of their own power. So what is the highest potential here? Seven of Wands, courage from the heart. So when there is a situation that challenges the both of you, you're both able to stand strong with protection and, and meet that challenge together. I think this is really interesting. Is there anything else that needs to come out or that any other message that wants to come out of this card? I'm just getting that you're entering this period of stability and the stability has really been about channeling that fiery energy down to something more consistent and manageable and less erratic. So I think this is, a, and Ten of Pentacles to me also supports that feeling that you're entering this period of stability and prosperity. And I hope it doesn't seem boring to you because I don't think it will be. With the presence of all of these fire cards, I think there are still going to be challenges and opportunities for growth. But it's going to be more creative growth rather than like inner trauma work. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so creative challenges, making something together rather than having to fight or having to go inward and having to really look at yourself. At this time, that's not what we're doing. We're building a future together, Ten of Pentacles. And I really think this is a great omen for what's in front of you. All right, Sad. Thanks so much for joining me. If you are looking to reconnect with your soul's path or you want to see, am I doing what my soul would like me to do, please do reach out, soulguidancewithadriana.com. I do love to help people that are interested in aligning with their soul's path. And it's not the easiest path. It's not perhaps the most pretty path, but it's the most rewarding and fulfilling path. So if you're interested in that, please also, there's also... <laughs> So many also's. My email is in the description below as well if you prefer to communicate that way. And I'll look forward to seeing you soon.